I'm currently pursuing a PhD degree at the University of Maryland in College Park. Currently, girls and women are probably the largest minority group that is denied access to education period. And it's obviously because of cultural factors, but at least 80% of women are illiterate because of cultural factors and ignorance that is keeping them and oppressing them from accessing our education or for, from even reading and to learning how to read. It's seen as a threat, but in reality, it's actually a, a blessing for communities, but I don't think it's realized that for the future of humankind to progress, women and girls must be educated. My actual concentration is marginalized populations, so minority groups, indigenous peoples, women, mostly vulnerable populations. I've been following higher education for a long time in the US, particularly because my parents made an intentional choice to come here so that their children can have opportunities that they did not have. I didn't really realize the sacrifices they made because knowing that in the Baha'i faith the value of the girl child is so important, they actually invested as much as they could in my education, while my brother not as much. And I was the oldest, but it was, I think their value about, you know, having the the woman as the educator because she's the primary educator of her children. My education was never mine to begin with. It was something to benefit others. It wasn't something that I was supposed to value and have degrees after my name. I realized it was actually something that I needed to use to contribute to the betterment of humankind. And so it really shifted my understanding and value of what education truly means. I'm looking at how we need to change structures and systems the way that they currently exist. Not only government structures, but education systems. Because in a lot of parts around the world, education systems are separate from government, but sometimes they're very much monitored at the same time. So looking at how attitudes and minds and hearts need to be basically reinformed, need to be rewritten, I think it's education is the key for these changes to happen. So it's not only happening at the structural level, but the individual level as well, the community level. There's so many cultural factors that actually challenge the equality of women and men and how women and girls can access education. And I think men will not even be equal to women or not even be able to achieve their own greatness until women are able to access education as well.